हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज आवर लेक्चर नाइन द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज थर्ड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक्स एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन सो दिस इज द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ आवर चैप्टर दैट इज केमिकल इनर्जेटिक्स सो लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ दिस लेक्चर दैट मीन्स इन दिस लेक्चर यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी थर्ड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक्स एंड इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ थर्ड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक्स थर्ड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक्स सो द स्टेटमेंट फॉर थर्ड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडायनामिक्स इज एंट्रॉपी ऑफ परफेक्टली क्रिस्टलाइन सॉलिड is equal to zero at absolute zero temperature okay so now before studying this the statement of third law of thermodynamics we must know what is entropy okay entropy means order of randomness okay so now here we have used the word absolute zero temperature the temperature at which the movement of atom or molecule stops is known as absolute zero temperature and it is always equal to zero kelvin okay so now at absolute zero temperature the entropy of perfectly crystalline solid is equal to zero so now here we will take one example imagine that this is one solid okay at temperature t kelvin or at temperature greater than 0 kelvin okay at this temperature the molecules are randomly aligned in that solid okay but what happens when we decrease the temperature to zero kelvin here now t is equal to zero kelvin what happens the movement of this atoms or molecule get stops and they get orderly aligned okay in the same repeating manner so here what happens the entropy that is s becomes zero this is according to our third law of thermodynamics here entropy is greater than zero okay so when any substance is cool down to zero kelvin the entropy will be equal to zero but for in some cases what happen entropy is not equal to entropy is not equal to zero at zero kelvin then then that entropy is known as residual entropy which is known as residual entropy okay so now according to the third law of thermodynamics the entropy of perfectly crystalline solid is equal to zero at absolute zero temperature and here we have discussed that but for some substance the 
entropy at absolute zero temperature is not equal to zero then that entropy is known as residual entropy or that substance that substance is not perfectly crystalline okay so this was about the statement of third law of thermodynamics now we will see the importance of third law of thermodynamics so what is the importance of third law the by using the third law we can calculate the entropy or the absolute entropy of a substance at any desired temperature okay so now absolute entropy of a solid okay we will see how to calculate absolute entropy of solid okay now here we know that ds that is change in entropy is equal to dq upon t okay also we have learned in the previous lecture that cp is equal to dq upon dt yes or no then dq is equal to cp into dt in this format we can write now substituting this value of dq in the above equation that is ds is equal to cp dt upon t okay now what we have to do we have to calculate the entropy at any desired temperature so now we will integrate on both the sides okay so integration ds from s is equal to s0 to s is equal to s t where s0 is the entropy at 0 kelvin and s t is the entropy at t kelvin integration from 0 to t cp dt upon t okay now doing this integration we get s integration of ds is s and giving the limits s0 to st this integration as it is from 0 to t cp dt upon t okay now putting the values or substituting the limits st minus s0 is equal to integration of 0 to t cp dt okay now we know that according to the third law of thermodynamics s0 is zero that means entropy at zero kelvin of perfectly crystalline solid is taken as zero now this is zero so now st is equal to integration from zero to t cp dt that means by putting the values of cp at different temperatures we can find the entropy of any substance at any desired temperature 
so how can we find this this can be find by plotting the graph of cp versus ln t okay this graph is like this okay and this integration of 0 to t cp dt upon t can be calculated by calculating the area under the curve okay this area under the curve gives the value of integration of from 0 to t cp dt upon t but here comes one problem that is the values of heat capacity at any desired temperature can be calculated but the values of cp from this temperature t star cannot be calculated so now this can be done by extrapolating this graph okay by extrapolating this graph that means this T star is from 15 Kelvin to 10 Kelvin between from 0 to 15 Kelvin the values of CP are not known are not known to us okay so this is a point A this is a point B this is the point C. So entropy from B to C can be calculated but for the part A to B cannot be calculated. So here the D by has given a law known as D by T cubed law. Okay. So what does this D by T cubed law states? for calculating cp from 0 to 15 kelvin we can use the formula cp is equal to a t cube okay where this a is constant T is temperature this temperature is between 0 to 15 where the heat capacities are not calculated okay so now we know that ST is equal to integration from 0 to t cp dt upon t now we also know from the d by t cube law t cube law that cp is equal to a t cube okay now what we will do we will split the integration so now for calculating st what we will do from 0 to t star that means for the part a to b cp dt upon t plus integration from t star to t that means from b to c in cp dt upon t okay so this can be calculated from calculating the area under this curve now for this we know that from 0 to t star instead of writing cp here we can write a t cube upon t this as it is Okay, then 
Now integration from zero to t star t square dt. Okay. This t and this t cube gets cancelled and this remains t square plus this as it is. Okay. Now we know that integration of t square is t plus raised to two plus one upon two plus one. This a we take as a constant and integration limit from t zero to t star dt. Okay. Now, this as it is. So this integration that is s t is equal to one upon three a t cube. Okay, plus integration from t star. Two t c p d t upon t. So this problem was solved by d by. Okay. So by using this formula, we can calculate the entropy of any substance. At any desired temperature. Okay. Now, if small part is there, if there is phase transition, if there is phase. Transition. So, how that phase transition will occur? Here, we are moving from zero Kelvin to T Kelvin. If this T is very large, this solid may get converted into liquid, or this liquid may get converted into gas. Okay. So, when this phase transition occurs, then S. Is equal to delta H T upon T T, where delta H T is heat of phase transition, and T T is temperature. At which phase phase transition occurs. Okay. That means S T is equal to one upon three. A T cube plus integration of T star to T C P D T upon T plus delta H T upon T T. Okay. So I think that you have understood the derivation for the absolute entropy. Each and every one, please write the derivation in your notebook. Try to understand it. Practice it. Okay. Thank you.